Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. And in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Hunter's new Void subclass known as Night Stalker, which comes in the Taken King expansion launching later this year, September 15th. Now the Night Stalker subclass, as mentioned, is Void, which fills the obvious elemental gap. But what's more important is the Night Stalker subclass is a support class, which is really, really good because finally the Hunter can actually help out his teammates as opposed to just being a selfish class in inverted commas, so to speak. The super for this one, Shadow Shot, will have you summon a Void Bow, and while you can kill your enemies by shooting them with the bow, its primary purpose is actually to subdue or suppress and also tether your enemies. When you fire it at the ground or fire it near an enemy, it will summon a Void Ball, which will then ensnare enemies that are nearby and suppress them and also slow them down. However, if you guys have been watching the trailers, if you guys have been watching the videos and you've been paying attention, then you'll already know this. So now let me show you something that you don't know. Let's take a look at the complete subclass tree for the Night Stalker. Now do bear in mind the game isn't out yet and it doesn't come out till September, so some of this stuff could well change before release, but for the time being, this is what I played with. Starting off with grenades, in the first slot you have the Spike Grenade, a grenade that attaches to any surface and emits a torrent of damaging void light. Now the Titan actually has one of these too, so I do wonder whether this is just placeholder and we have a duplicate for the time being, or whether there will genuinely be some similarities across the classes. Either way, moving on to the next one, this is where things get interesting, the Slash Grenade. A grenade that creates a horizontal wall of burning void light. Now when you throw this on the ground, just like the description said, it summons a relatively lengthy wall of void light which then burns on the ground for a while which is great for locking off doorways or locking off different locations. Obviously it won't be a one hit kill if someone walks into it, but the point is if you see some enemies coming and you want to try and control a zone, throw it in front of a doorway and it's a great way to block them off. And then the third grenade is the Vortex Grenade, a grenade that creates a vortex continually damaging enemies trapped inside. And if you use this in conjunction with your tether ability in the super, then if you pin down some enemies and then throw this, you can do some nasty damage over time. Then moving over to the jump column, the Night Stalker is a triple jump subclass. It doesn't have blink like the Blade Dancer, but it instead has triple jump like the Gunslinger. So your first one will obviously give you double jump, the second perk will then give you a slightly higher double jump, while the third perk will give you better directional control, and the fourth one will obviously give you the triple jump. Then moving over to the super that I spoke about, you have Shadow Shot. Tether a large group of foes to a void anchor, slowing and silencing them for your fighting. Now as mentioned this suppresses your enemies too, so just like with the titan suppression grenade, you can use this to deactivate someone's super. So for example if a pesky warlock or a titan runs towards you and they've activated their super, simply fire an arrow at their feet and that will be their super cancelled. But what's more important, if you fire it near enough, you'll also tether them, which should then give either you or your team a great opening to then finish the job. Then moving down to the first enhancement, you have Inextricable. A portion of damage taken by one tethered target is passed to all the other tethered targets. And what that basically means is that if say you've tethered two or three opponents and you're damaging one of them, then that damage is shared across the others. Alternatively, you can go for Wait For It, where Shadow Shot creates a proximity tether that triggers when targets get near. So that would be great for something like Control or something like Rift, one of the new game modes, where you basically fire it on a zone that you know enemies will be approaching and then upon closing the gap, the tether will then trigger and it will tie them and suppress them. Or alternatively, you have Gloam Ranger. Unite your allies, reduces incoming damage and buffs outgoing damage for your tethered fire team. Now I didn't actually get a chance to use that, as you can see it's not unlocked, but judging by the description, this sounds like it's a tether you actually use on yourself and your fire team, and then when you're all tethered you can gain this buff. Then moving over to the melee column. Now as you know, a gunslinger has throwing knives, the blade dancer has a dagger, and while you can still stab people with this class, your melee attack is a smoke bomb. At its base level, you simply throw a smoke bomb that slows and disorients those within a cloud. That does also apply to you, so don't throw it and then walk into it, but the point is if you throw it, then there'll be like a purple cloud and it slows people down inside. Your first enhancement for this one is Smog, where it significantly increases the size of the smoke. Alternatively, you have Envenomed, which adds a toxin that suffocates enemies within the smoke. So effectively, instead of just slowing them down and sort of like disorienting them, you actually start damaging them. Or you have Snare, which allows the smoke bomb to stick to a surface, detonating when enemies come near. Then I'm going to skip past the next column, because you know the usual kind of things, Path Forgotten, Path Unknown, all the different things that will tweak your armour and your recovery and your agility. So then next up, let's move over to Uncanny Archer. The description reads, Every target tethered increases your armour and recovery stats by 1 until Shadow Shot is next recharged. And you also then have reduced time until the next Shadow Shot. Alternatively, you have Shadow Trapper, where tethers have increased range, duration and potency, or you have Well Provisioned, which will allow you to gain an additional grenade and significantly increase your grenade duration. 
Again, skipping over the next ones, the way of the Drifter, the way of the Fearless and all that stuff. And we then move on to the final column. Keen Scout allows you to sneak faster, gain an enhanced motion tracker, and mark targets that you damage. Plus, your allies also get waypoints to those marks. So effectively, if you shoot someone, you tag them, but you don't quite get to kill them, you've got a marker which will then help you track them down. So really, if you look at this as like the overarching subclass, this really is like a hunter class. You know, you have traps, you have snares, you have things that allow you to attract people. It's really pretty cool. Then next up, you have Rapid Shot, and this one sounds so awesome. After firing your initial shadow shot arrow, you may fire up to two explosive arrows in quick succession. So if you imagine how that's going to work out, if you can successfully land a tether and shoot and pin down your enemies, you've then got two extra arrows which you can then fire to do some nasty explosive damage. This could be a great way to take out a large group of enemies. Or alternatively, you may well have seen this in the vidoc, but there's also Shade Step, which allows you to gain an evade by pressing circle twice. That basically gives you a combat roll, and it's a really good way to either dodge some bullets or try and roll behind cover. So, that, my friends, is the subclass tree for the Night Stalker. Now I did have a chance to try all three subclasses and while yes you guys know I am a hunter so there probably will be a little bit of bias but I genuinely do really really enjoy using the Night Stalker subclass because finally being able to play a support class makes hunters so much more useful. You've got things that will buff your team, you've got things that will slow down other enemies which will allow you to create an opening for your team to do some damage and just loads of really cool moves. Now if you guys want to find out more about the other subclasses, then I have detailed videos just like this one for the Stormcaller and for the Sunbreaker. You can find links to those in the description box down below. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Night Stalker, and thank you very much for watching. Take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.